this is a pastor. This is a pastor. It's a disgrace. You call this a pastor. It's a disgrace. You are, you are not a pastor anymore. You are not a pastor. Hi, you are watching Christian Vibes TV, your favorite gospel entertainment blog house in Ghana, West Africa, and the whole world of large. If you like our videos, please do subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell to receive post notifications and alerts. Hello Christian Bible, welcome to your favorite gospel entertainment blog house, your number one stop channel for all your gospel content in Ghana, West Africa and the whole world at large. This is Christian Vibes TV. If you have chance on this channel, kindly subscribe, hit the red inscription beside and turn on the bell to receive daily post notifications and alerts whenever we post a new video on the channel. And welcome to this episode of CV Reactions. My name is Neza Brown, the guitar creator at Christian Vibes GH. Um... Today we are actually talking about one video that surfaced online and it's actually catching the attention of a lot of Christians, a lot of um, religious people in the country. It's from the camp of the Archbishop Dak Heward Mills where he addressed um, a young man in his church who identifies as a pastor and then um, revoked his title as a pastor just in the in the presence of the church, like in the congregation. Uh, it, has, it has generated a lot of conversations in the Christian space on the Christendom. People are asking questions, was, was what the Archbishop did appropriate? I mean, was it right for him to revoke the, the pastor, pastoral identity of the, of the young man in the church? Um, so in the video, the Archbishop was seen asking um, this young man if he was a pastor, and he responded like, yeah, he was a pastor in, in the Lighthouse Church. And then the Archbishop put out a question to him. Unfortunately, the young man was not able to answer the question that the Archbishop put before him. And so um, just, just about some seconds, some minutes, and then he called off um, his, his identity or his, his title as a pastor. The, the Archbishop revoked the title of the young man as a pastor. And um, I don't know, but you have to see the video before we, we share our sentiments on it. And so, yeah, let's go check out what the video contains and then when we come back we'll talk about what we have to say about what the archbishop did was it actually um a step in its right direction for him to do or maybe it was it was so quick and easy let's go watch the video we'll be back Hi. What, what's your name huh eric Salad. eric what give give me a microphone Are you a pastor? What are you? Huh? I'm a pastor. A pastor. What message have you been listening to? Attempt to do great things for the Lord. Attempt to do great things for the Lord. What's that? Attempt to attempt to do great things for the Lord. Attempt to do great things. What message is that? You've written a book called I've written a book. Mm. Attempt to do great things for the Lord. This is a pastor. This is a pastor. It's a disgrace. You call this a pastor? It's a disgrace. You are, you are not a pastor anymore. You are not a pastor. This, not, this, this is a representative of the church. This is a representative of the church. It's a representative of our, our church. It's a representative of this church. Which church? Which church? Lighthouse, UD, Kajanote. This is a pastor. And it's just a sample. It's just a sample. It's just a sample. When I take three people here and I, I start to ask you certain questions, you will see that you are not a pastor in this church. In fact, you are actually an orangu. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's why you even have people, when we say you are going to sign certain forms and so on, you see some people say that they will not sign. Because you must be some way. You must be. You must be an orangu. Oh, yeah. Because your mind, the basics of the church, you don't even know, you don't understand. And you are a poor pastor. You are a representative and a leader. How much more the people? <laughs> oh, yes. The basics of listening to messages. The basics. All right, so that was just the video that you watched um, about the revocation of one one young man's title as a pastor by the Archbishop um, Doug Heward Mills. The video actually seems like it was captured during a live service at the First Love Church. Um, the, the location looks like a First Love Church or probably the Kodesh. Um, but then the content is what matters to us. And the content is what uh, I feel like we should share our thoughts on. What do you think? Do you think what the Archbishop did was, the, was a step in the right direction to call or to revoke the, the pastoral ship pastoral identity of this young man um, right in church uh for me one for one i feel like um it was a step in the right direction but it was not at the appropriate place to 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 revoke him as a pastor uh, maybe maybe something happened maybe maybe something happened here yeah. and this guy was not able to identify or was not able to answer some questions that the pastor or the archbishop put before him i think the question was pretty simple is he asked him what have you been listening to so what message have you been listening to and it took it took like almost 30 seconds for this young man to speak up i don't know whether he was searching for something on his phone or something like that but then it kept long i was i was wondering why this guy does not know the message he listens to and he's a pastor and m most often than not um i don't know why these things happen but i feel like people should really really know the identity and if you ask me, I'm not a pastor, but if you ask me what message I'm listening to, I'll, I, I am, I'll be able to tell you what message I'm listening to. So to, today, for example, I listened to a message from um, Pastor Joshua Selman or Preacher Joshua Selman. I also listened to a message from um, Jackie Hill Perry and I listened to a message from Dr. Miles Munro. So I don't know, but you should be able to identify yourself. You should be able to tell what message you're listening to. Unless maybe there is a code for the web message the Archbishop used that the man didn't get it. I don't know. I don't know. Unless maybe there is an identity what um, the, the Archbishop required the man to pose or to, to identify himself with, with, a, with a word message. Because if I, if I ask anyone, what message are you listening to? It's pretty simple. You should be able to tell what you have been listening. And it took like quite a while for the young man to actually speak up, to actually talk about what message he was listening to and um the archbishop i don't know whether he was furious but he, he revoked he revoked the pastoral identity of of the young man nonetheless he's a church member of the lighthouse chapel international and i feel like what the archbishop did was a step in its right direction um that maybe it wasn't the appropriate place many times to young people i don't know but young people should should commit to ourselves to to reading the word of god to learning and then to also to, to put ourselves in a position to answer questions because as a pastor anybody can come with you to come to you with a question i mean if i meet you anywhere i can ask you a question and you should be able to answer my question but for the admission to also move to him and ask him questions and he's not able to answer that is a, a conversation for a different day but i also feel like um maybe psychologically the guy was not prepared i don't know but maybe psychologically he wasn't there he wasn't in a position to answer the question that the archbishop put before him or maybe he needed to process the information i mean me myself if i if i find my i've met the i've met the archbishop that he would know before man that man is a giant he's handsome he like when this man comes up to you just once and he's talking to you 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 feel like very small before him and so you have to like kind of process whatever is happening before you you put out uh, an answer but then i also feel like the young man took so long if you're a pastor, you, you should be able to tell what you are listening to. But then he couldn't and called for the revocation of, of his pastoral identity by the 
archbishop um let me know what you think what do you think do you think what the archbishop did was a step in his right direction or he needed to actually take it give the give, give the young man some time to to process um i don't know <laughs> but share your thoughts with me in the comment section and let's have a conversation around this what do you think was it a step in the right direction for the archbishop to do or you feel like um it was not necessary for him to revoke his license for me i feel like it was necessary but then it was not in the appropriate or at the right place to do that all right this has been christian vibes tv and my name has been neza brown catch you next on our next reaction video have a nice time